big name board games like Monopoly and Scrabble. And you can play against anyone from anywhere online. This is the Infinity Game Table by Arcade One Up. I should start by making it clear that this game table is still in development. It was very cool of Arcade One Up to let me spend a couple of days playing with a prototype with my family at home. But that means the graphics and effects that you see here are not final, everything's still being tweaked. Now on the surface, it's a pretty simple concept. You make a giant tablet with legs, you load it up with a bunch of well-known tabletop games, and gather around to play with your family, just like you would with any board game, except no pieces to set up, no cards to deal, no one has to be banker, you just dive right in. The Infinity Game Table found success on Kickstarter with more than $1 million pledged to bring it to life. And the first tables are coming out next month. The price starts at $600. It's about the same as a high-end iPad. Now there are two options for the screen size. There is a 32 inch screen and a 24 inch model. That's the one I tested. Or if you wanna measure it another way, you could say it takes up roughly seven boxes of games. The table is sturdy. It's got some weight to it. You can take the legs off if you want. I used a power cord, but there is an option for a battery pack. And there are also ports to expand gameplay in different ways. Hasbro worked with Arcade One Up to have its board games turned into digital versions for this system. There are titles for all ages, and the team took some creative approaches to reimagine how a game could play in a digital way. You may be wondering, how do you play Operation on a touchscreen? Well, they made it a finger maze with varying degrees of difficulty. Hit the edge and the table buzzes with a vibration. The sound of the patient's heartbeat picks up to give you more anxiety. Different games will rumble the table for different reasons. If you're playing pop o -matic Trouble, the table's gonna vibrate when you tap that bubble to roll your die. And animations send your pegs flying around the track. These animations are where the team can get really creative. The design of Monopoly was well done. Your little token hops around. The dice you roll could knock over the little houses or the other tokens on the board. But the best is when someone gets sent to jail. I think this was the fastest Monopoly I ever played because no one had to deal with banking or cards. It all just flowed. A key feature is that you can play against people online. That is, if you know someone else that also has an infinity game table. I hopped into a game of Battleship with the table's design director, Jerry Cummings. Oh, holy cow, you got me already. When you sink your opponent in Battleship, you're gonna feel the explosion. Sink my Battleship. In some games with multiple players, like Sorry, we could have connected with multiple tables if we wanted to. And if there's no time to finish, you can also save a game to pick it up later. Games will have various settings in case you want to change the house rules. Jerry said the team is considering all sorts of new gameplay ideas. Maybe you'll use special controllers in one game, or another game could be switched to play a different themed version, like a Star Trek Monopoly or a Disney trailer with board game fans, like the game Ticket to Ride or Pandemic. This goes beyond Hasbro. The system is designed to be open for developers to create anything they want for the table. The unit I tested also had card games, as well as your basic classics like checkers and chess. Once I took it for a spin, I could see a few different paths that this system could take. Why not make a game of chess where you saw the pieces battle each other? Or maybe games can react differently depending on how you touch the screen. When I played Candyland, I wondered what it would be like if my daughter saw her player slog through the gooey licorice lagoon, or could she get reactions if her finger bounced on the gumdrops? The prototype demo was not quite there yet, but the team says they want to keep updating these games over time.
Home robots, flying cars, and smart gadgets. The best of big companies and small startups from the year's biggest tech show, Consumer Electronics Show 2021. The online format didn't make the show any less interesting, so give it a like and watch the video till the end. Samsung unveiled several robots at CES 2021. Samsung Bot Care is designed as an assistant, companion, and caregiver. Bot with elements of artificial intelligence analyzes human behavior and anticipates its needs. The robot will remind you to stretch your legs if you're sitting late at the computer, warn you about the upcoming video conference, prepare materials for the presentation, and choose the best place for it, taking into account the lighting and the background. The second robot, Samsung Bot Handy, is intended to be an at-home assistant. It's equipped with a manipulator with three degrees of freedom, a camera, and a claw-like grip. The robot's able to recognize objects and the material of which they are made of to calculate gripping strength. It also analyzes the surroundings of an object to pick them up correctly. According to the company, Bot Handy will be able to work autonomously around the house, helping to set the table, remove dirty dishes, collect, sort by color, and load laundry into the washing machine. Not only is the robot able to move around on the floor, but it also can reach up to stack clothes on top of the shelf. The robots are not yet ready for mass production, and their price is unknown. For now, the company is only studying the possible demand the public might have. The latter, by the way, is reacting rather critically, doubting that Bot Handy is really capable of performing the advertised functions and that Bot Care is actually useful and will justify the cost, whatever it may be. In fact, we've seen such concepts of assistance for several years now in a row, including an early version of Spot with a lever on its back and Ubitech's Walker Robot. And while Spot has recently made headlines for cleaning clothes, we won't be seeing a real useful home robot to help with household chores with its hands anytime soon. But a smart vacuum cleaner from Samsung will be available this year. JetBot 90 AI is equipped with a LiDAR for accurate three-dimensional mapping. The robot can detect objects in its path, avoiding fragile objects such as vases and confidently cleaning up the sturdier ones such as furniture. ITRI, Applied Technology Research Institute, also introduced a dual-arm system. The dual-arm robot is capable of performing a delicate task such as grasping fragile objects and playing the piano. Five Fingers Advanced Sensor Technology and Machine Learning Algorithms should allow the robot to perform a wider range of tasks in the future without special programming. So far, the robot is only a prototype, but will continue to monitor its development. General Motors unveiled a futuristic concept of a single-seat electric drone the Cadillac eVTOL at CES 2021. The vertical takeoff and landing drone is equipped with a 90 kilowatt hour electric motor with four motors allowing each electric car to fly at speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour. In the future, the company promises to introduce a two-seat version of the drone as well. General Motors also unveiled an autonomous delivery van. Company officials say they're rethinking the future of personal transportation, and in their opinion, these two concepts reflect the most in-demand models for the next five years or more. IBM has partnered with research nonprofit organization ProMare to unveil unmanned seafaring technology at CES. The onboard AI captain system, developed for the Mayflower Autonomous Ship Project, is capable of controlling research vessels in the ocean. It includes computer vision, automation software, and Watson technology for decision making during autonomous voyages. LG unveiled the disinfector robot Chloe the Bot. In previous shows, it wouldn't have stood out at CES, but today, a robot for disinfecting high-traffic areas such as hotels, schools, and offices is more relevant now than ever. The company has announced a sales launch in the very near future. Pollen Robotics showed off its open-source robot Richie at CES, which is now teleoperated. The robot has a VR headset with handheld controllers through which it can be controlled from anywhere in the world. This innovation only supported the general trend in robotics to use robots instead of humans to reduce personal contact. At CES, the British company Shadow Robots gave us info about a new stage of its work. The tactile telerobot, previously supplied mainly to research institutes, will now get a real and important application. Innovate UK has provided the company with funding to bring the robot to Pfizer vaccine manufacturing process. The sensitive and accurate tactile telerobot will work in a sterile box instead of people having to perform a number of operations with uncomfortable gloves. 
Robison has unveiled yet another new product, its K1 Educational Robot, which should go on sale this spring for only about $300 for the most advanced version. The robot has 17 servo motors, can dance, walk, shoot, and perform other tricks. The robot's controlled by voice commands or through an app. It allows children of all ages and skills to determine and learn the basics of programming in a real, smart, and agile robot. Sony unveiled the first APIC drone with four rotors and a Sony Alpha 7S III camera, a full-frame model with an interchangeable lens that can shoot 4K video. The new drone is considered the smallest drone capable of carrying an Alpha camera, and it's designed for professional video and photography. Details about the drone are not yet available, but Sony has said a release is as early as this spring, so we will wait and let you know about the official release. Morbot, which is a manufacturer of robots and software, introduced at a new creation, a Robot Spy Scout. The self-contained robot can explore its surroundings and keep an eye on children or animals while you're away. The robot's equipped with an FHD camera that has night vision, voice control, and streams directly to your smartphone in real time. The operating system is Linux Plus Open Source ROS. The battery charge lasts for two hours, and afterwards, the robot will send itself back to its base for charging. The price of the robot is currently $179. Bionic Hive introduced its fully autonomous Squid Warehouse robot at the show, capable of climbing shelves. The robot has 3D movement capabilities, has built-in controls, and is able to analyze data in real time to learn from problems that arise and apply those lessons learned to other areas of the warehouse. The solution adapts easily to any warehouse and has already been praised by professionals. Panasonic unveiled a holographic display for cars of the future that has an artificial intelligence and augmented reality head-up display. The Visual Driver Assistant system projects a laser holography onto the windshield, displaying information meaningful to the driver. Heads-up displays provide data on the traffic situation, navigation assistance, data on driving speed, current fuel levels, warns about pedestrians in the night, and also allows the driver to extend their field of vision to a distance of 10 meters or more. The system monitors the direction of the driver's gaze, as well as the movement of objects around the moving car, and dynamically adjusts to each accordingly. Yves Saint Laurent and L'Oreal presented a gadget for creating any shade of lipstick. The device is able to match the shade of clothes to hair, create a user-defined color, and replicate it from a photo. The gadget gives out one portion of the lipstick, which you can apply with a brush from the kit. The price is currently at $299. At the exhibition, there were several interesting solutions for the smart home. For example, wellness toilet from the Japanese manufacturer Toto. The device scans the human body and its waste with sensors, analyzes the data, and suggests dietary changes through a mobile app. The novelty, which even offers cooking recipes, will appear on the market in a few years. British startup Lasso Loop Recycling presented its concept of a smart home garbage sorter, Lasso, at CES. It's supposed to clean plastic and metal from food scraps and determine whether the material is recyclable or not. Lasso analyzes incoming trash with a camera and AI. If the waste cannot be recycled, it returns it to the owner. The trash is then steam cleaned, shredded, and sent to a separate storage slot. The Lasso mobile app helps determine if a product's packaging is recyclable by barcode right in the store. The tentative release currently is at $2,023 and preliminary cost is about $3,500. The Nobi Ceiling Light with a fall sensor and artificial intelligence for active monitoring can detect dangerous situations in your home of the elderly and alert relatives or social services. The Smart Light also has a built-in smoke and air quality sensor and a 4G SIM card just in case the Wi-Fi fails. There was an entirely separate place at the show that was occupied just by smart masks. For example, gaming manufacturer Razer introduced the Project Hazel Mask, an N95 certified respirator class mask. The mask is able to filter out about 95% of bacteria. The transparent mask with lighting for darkness allows you to see the emotions of the interlocutor as well as amplify the voice thanks to the built-in microphone and speakers. The X-Rapid Group introduced the Exhale Mask, which features inhaled and exhaled air. The mask monitors a person's breathing rate and compares the readings with previous ones using a special app. Canadian software gadget developer Hubble Connected has solved another mask-related problem. Presented at CES, the mask phone not only protects the lower part of the face, but also contains built-in headphones. 
The American company BioIntellisense showed a compact health monitoring device called BioButton. It's attached to the body with medical glue, and the gadget continuously measures body temperature, heart, and respiratory rate, as well as activity, sleep levels, and analyzes changes that may indicate some early symptoms of a viral infection. Japan's Vanguard Industries Incorporated has introduced the Mofflin Robotic Pet. The fur-covered device can move and make sounds as well as learn and develop through the use of its artificial intelligence technology. The robot's equipped with an accelerometer that has gyroscopes, touch sensors, and a microphone. It recognizes people by the way they interact with it and it develops its own character over time. The charger for the device is shaped like an egg, and the price of this robot is $400. The educational robot Moxie from the startup Embodied, recently announced by Time Magazine as one of the best inventions of 2020, also made its mark at the show. The companion robot helps children develop and learn through play. It was created with the participation of teachers and experts in child development and is characterized by its increased safety. However, the price of this robot is not exactly modest at a whole $1,700. What robots in tech from CES 2021 did you find most interesting? Let us know in the comments, subscribe to the Pro Robot channel, and don't miss any new episodes.